All right, I'm going to show you the easy way to remember the slope of a horizontal or vertical line. So first, let me draw a horizontal line for you. A horizontal line looks like this. Okay, it's like looking at the horizon, right? There's the sun. And if you think of this as rise over run, if you're going from a point here to a point there, how high do you rise going from this one to this one? Well, your rise is zero. Now, do you have a run? Sure you do. Okay, in this case, what's my run? Uh, one, two, three, my run is three. But it doesn't matter what the run is. You could be going from that point to this point. You could have a run of one, two, three, four, five. Six. You could have a run of six, but your rise is still zero. Zero over any number is zero. So the slope of a horizontal line is zero. The slope of a horizontal line is zero. The slope of a vertical line. Let me draw a vertical line. Here is a vertical line. And if I go from one point to another, let's say I'm going from here to here. Now I do have a rise, okay? My rise is one, two, three. But what is my run? How far to the right or left do I go? Zero. So in this case, my rise would be three, my run would be zero. And what happens if we have a zero in the denominator? It's undefined. Cat in the hat. Undefined. So the slope of a vertical line is undefined. Okay, a lot of people will just memorize this. The slope of a horizontal line is zero. The slope of a vertical line is undefined. Let me show you an easy way to remember that. One of these has a slope of zero, and one of them has a slope that is undefined. Which one has the slope that's zero, horizontal or vertical? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Look at that. It's got a zero right there in the word. The slope of a horizontal line is zero. Okay, and then the slope of a vertical line is undefined.